bump all this shit. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. Follow our social media. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, and SoundCloud at Audio Travel. Make sure you check us out on WeUpOnTheRadio.com. Well, who? Fuck you, Knox. <laughs> well, my man, Knox. And on Twitter at Pusha of Audio. Once again, at Twitter at Pusha of Audio. A-U-D-I-O. Let's are go. We, are, we, are we talking about Knox? Are we going to try this again? <laughs> Yo, big shots to my man B Stables and Nasty for the suit challenge last night. Let's talk about that, man. <laughs> on social media, right? These dudes, Tell me how the suit challenge works. So... I was over here, you know, as it was pressing up the bonsai CDs, right? Right. These dudes literally had a suit challenge which consisted of how many Man. pictures on their Facebook page That's would they in in suits, all right? So it even got, hold on, look, it even got to the point where they pulled out the wedding pictures oh. yeah. of both of them. And you know both of them had suits on in mm -hmm, their weddings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You were there. You mm -hmm. were there. We were there for B Stables. Uh, I mean, B Square. Uh, I mean, B Free. B Free wedding. B Stables ain't really fuck with us like that when he got married, but it's all good. But <laughs> yo, yo, can I? Do I need to go back to Fairville? No, we're not going back to Fairville, okay, man. Because look, <laughs> you was pressing up. You was pressing up what yesterday? I was pressing up CDs. Of what? Of the bonsai. That's what the fuck we here to talk about. Oh, we man. here to talk about bonsai. We here to talk about bonsai. Hey man, hey man, give it up for the bonsai album. I don't know if it, I, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and you know what I'm saying. I, before I get into that, man, I want to I want to give big shouts out to 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 the cats that's in the room right now. Like, you know what I'm saying. Hip hop. It was culture, a hell of a night, man. The culture. It's like all right, so. When I look in the room, right, I saw uh, M.O.H., mm -hmm. Men of Honor. Saw them. You know what I'm saying? I had Ill Position. The lineage. Ill Position. I saw uh, Up South Music in the building. Mm -hmm. um, I saw uh, Watts. In the building. In the building. I saw uh, Tilted Crown Products. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I saw uh, uh, Stony Wood. I saw a lot of different entities that helped kind of catapult the culture for us to what it is right now. Yeah. And um, it was a beautiful evening. I'm drunk. I'm drinking little bottles of liquor. And I'm having a wonderful time. How, 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 how do it feel? You know what I'm saying? How do it feel right now? Um, we, we, when, do we, when did you, start, the, when did you start, the, uh, start recording for this? Top of the year, end of the year, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we dropped Worst Case um, in 2016, like I talked about tonight, um, it kind of reinvigorated the, the drive and everything that what we do. Super hard hour. We've been doing it for a minute. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, just think about it, bro. I'm just going to go back, and I ain't even going all the way back. I'm going to go back to the review um, with DJ Stack, who was in attendance tonight. Shout out to DJ Stack. Um, I'm gonna go to the what you call it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go to Grind Harder. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to Red Clay Soldiers. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the Breakfast Club. I'm gonna go to Easy to Hate. I'm gonna go to uh, Classic. I'm gonna go to all those things and and think all of those things led up to from the hood like you. From the hood, there like was you. X One Vs in X1 that summer, v. bitch. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot in that summer, my bitch. Yeah, it was a lot. So. And I think all that led up to, you know what I'm saying, the bonsai. So, um, bonsai was just, just a, a combination of me, like what I was feeling, you know what I'm saying, past, present, and future. That's how I, how, I started how, the how was it working Dolo? Think about this. You started from, like you said, it was five of us when we initially started, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And to, to the, the group kind of metamorphosized, you know, and then it's really kind of for the you last. You interviewing me? Yeah, motherfucker. Okay, all right. Answer no. these questions. Right, dope. Thirty let's for go. thirty. Let's go. Let's just make sure. So look, <laughs> Team Brolic in the mural, thirty for thirty. This is <laughs> this is really the first time you got to take people that through through like your your um and your chambers. That's the one thing. Shout out to um my watch brothers O, O C B Square. You know what I'm saying? I was chopping it up within the night. Like yo, motherfuckers really got an opportunity to get into your artistry. How how was it getting into that bag? Um, it wasn't hard getting into the bag, but I think I think the footwork was different because. You know, it was a shared, you know what I'm saying? You already you already know me and you had a shared dream and we still do, you know what I mean? Like um 
I ain't gonna front like I remember at your um, at your wedding when you got married. My nigga said, "Yo, my nigga right there, we shared a dream." And I felt like a little bitch when you said that niggas shit. Was crying. Said, yo. Niggas was crying, niggas was crying, son. Yo, word up. Niggas yo, was, was crying. I felt like a straight up. I was bitch. like, "Yo, my man, yo, son. my man right there." Yo, son. I felt like a little. Nigga, nigga, dream together, yo. Everybody's like, ah. Oh. I felt like a little bitch in a little red dress with the, with some uh, she was flats real. on, not no high heels like flats. She flats. was real. The dream is still alive though. They were like they were like really like there was like patent leather red flats, nigga. The dream but, is still alive. So what happened was so when I started doing it, it got you know what I'm saying. It is different mm-hmm. because when you um, just doing it for dolo, you know, big shots of drugs beats, but for for providing the score once again, you know what I'm saying. If it ain't, I, I'm a, a, a firm believer. If it ain't broke, don't break it. So big shots to drugs for providing dope ass beats and uh, options for me to kind of. You scared? Son, we take you home. You scared? Son. You scared? We take you home. All these people, all these people scared you, son. Your grandson can't eat no books. Yeah, yeah. Shorty can't. Shorty can't eat no books, B. We take you home. We take you home if you scared. All these people making you nervous, man. You fucking nervous. Fuck you you a little nervous right now? <laughs> you a little nervous? <laughs> but yeah, drugs provided a dope score for me to get busy on, and um, it got different when it come. I'm gonna tell you what it got really got different with when it came to my pockets. Mm-hmm. Because you know, it wanted double income no more. It was just you know what I'm saying all coming from me. And then I had to have more conversation with my wife mm-hmm. about where this bread going to. So you know what I mean. Like, um, I think I don't think people realize that from behind the scenes how much it takes to put out a quality piece of work. Not only you know paying for the studio time, and paying for <coughs> graphics, and paying for art, paying for paying for videos, um, even just paying for your shit to be streamed online. So. I think that was the biggest. I think that was the biggest reality check mm-hmm. uh, for me. So I commend all the cats that, you know, be it, that do it really do it to death. So I, got, I don't know if I took it for granted. You know what I'm saying? Because like shit, if it was fifty dollars, we had twenty five a piece. Nigga. But now it's fifty dollars. But this is the dope thing. How you set it up <clears throat> is, you know, what I'm saying you ain't just come through with the Bonsai album. Mm-hmm. Came through with the Bonsai hats. Mm-hmm. Came through with the Bonsai body butters. Mm-hmm. Came through with the bonsai artwork. Mm-hmm. Came through with the bonsai T-shirts. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, kind of partnering up the merchandising mm-hmm. on the back end of that helps recoup. You know what I'm saying? With some of that, it also means you go in them more. You know what I'm saying? On the front end, yeah. but it also helps recoup on the back yeah, end. Yeah. Well, why not put the the the, the tutelage and, and the learnings that I did get from the North Carolina Agriculture and Technical State University? Shout out to Scott C. Yeah, no doubt, Scott C. Uh, I forgot my floor. I was so high. Mm-hmm. Right, but, um, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying shots of that you know why not put that to work you know what I'm saying like just leveraging um, imagery um, leveraging things that will keep people's attention um, leveraging the, the way social media works and things of that nature to kind of you know get people talking about it mm-hmm. and even you know talking about the event tonight mm-hmm. you know making it exclusive mm-hmm. you know it's key uh, big shots to the homies West Side Gun and Conway um for even though if it wasn't exclusive, making it seem exclusive, you know what I'm saying. If I um I put out a mixtape and I drop a hundred vinyls, and I tell the people I only got a hundred of these available, you know what I'm saying. Even if I don't, that makes it exclusive. Mm-hmm. And people, if they fuck with you, they're gonna want to fuck with that, mm-hmm. and they're gonna pay that money to do so. Yeah, so. I think the dope thing was too. Again, you know, we talked about it all the time. I think I don't think we saw it coming the way that it came. Mm-hmm. Pause. But, um, yeah, cool. you know what I'm saying, niggas talked about the whole artistry. Like, I think before, either while we were making worst case scenario, mm-hmm. and then we had a conversation, we even went to Jake's, and was like, yo, we t- we t- we are two different artists. Not you know, good. a lot of times that get lost in the fact that, the, the fact that we Ilpo, you know what I'm saying, we a group. But man, you have to have conversations, like niggas don't understand, like, what always sound good to you don't necessarily sound good to me. True. What always sound good to me don't necessarily sound good to you. So it's a process in trying to make these projects that we, you know what I'm saying, have been making all these years. It, don't, it ain't just always shit work, you know what I'm saying? So having an opportunity to kind of take motherfuckers all the way down your chamber, you know what I'm saying? 
I think that was an opportunity that I don't think you really ever looked at it, even when we talk about it, like, as far as, like, okay, yeah, we might do some solo shit at a certain point, but kind of being forced into that situation. And then when you kind of seen what it is, you said it in the, in the um, on the motherfucking album, like, yo, I'm at the edge, and it's like, fuck it, like, I'm, I'm just jumping in. Mm-hmm. And then when you kind of see how that shit go, it's like, all right, mm-hmm. I can actually do this shit. I can pull this shit off. I always feel on cover, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, you know, we forget we got wings. So when we do get to that edge... We still got the ability to fly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, even, you know, okay, you know how many times me and you done said, like, man, fuck this rap shit. I'm not, fuck that. I was there. And what tends to happen is some shit tends to happen in the universe and be like, nah, you can't say fuck this rap shit. Whether it's some bread, whether it's an opportunity, whether it's something, you know, be, be stables or whatever. It, fucking re-energizes the shit that was, it put the battery mm-hmm. pack in your back For to, sure. to get the shit popping again. Pause. What happened? Bring him up here. Who was it? Who was that? Well, we got some special guests. We got special guests? Yeah, we do got special guests with us in here tonight. Shit. That was uh, in attendance tonight. I want to know what some of them thought about the motherfucking project since oh, we man. all out here. Oh, man. We're going we gonna to see if we can get some opinions on this shit. I know who's not here tonight. Who? The homie Knox. Fat Knox. Yeah, Fat Knox. Fuck you, Knox. I know who's not here. But look, I got to go. I got to go back to it. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we're going to skip. All right, all right. A couple things. We're going to skip over. We're going to skip over the chivalry of Nasty when he dropped. <laughs> nasty the, chivalry? Nasty chivalry. The lady said, the lady asked for help to carry the wings in the club, and Nasty dropped the whole tray of wings on the ground. All right? In Fanville. All right? Alexandra O'Neill. All right? <laughs> all right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, My Friday. My man, Nasty. I don't know what y'all So, look. We're going to skip the fact that it wasn't a venue that we should have been performing at. It definitely right? was not fucking right? with. Because the party was going on. They stopped the party and said, yo. We got some out of town niggas. They want to rock for y'all. And they're going to do some music you never heard of. Mm-hmm. So get off of that bitch. We're going to skip that. We're going to skip that. And we're going to keep it moving. But what we're going to get to, when Ilpo hit the stage. Mm-hmm. All right? When Ilpo hit the stage that evening. I saw my friend Knox from WeUpOnIt.com on the lighted dance floor with a beer. And if I'm correct, the bylaws of said, that particular, in, that said, particular uh, venue, venue yes. was that you cannot have alcohol on the dance floor, correct? You cannot have alcohol Just on the dance sure floor. to make sure we clear on that. All right. Okay. Now, mind you, my man Knox is probably uh, six foot three, six foot two. Let's go six two. Let's go six two, three hundred. Nah, uh, I'm being modest. Mm-hmm. At that time, three ten. Knox, we gonna give you three hundred, nigga. We look gonna look out. We are gonna look out and give you three hundred uh, right now. Somebody, my man Knox is six two, three hundred. All right. All right. <laughs> um, Knox is approached when we are on the stage performing our two selections because we don't want to keep the party not stop rocking for a long time. Yeah, we like yo fuck that. We had like seven. We was like, we just gonna do two. <laughs> and let y'all let y'all have a good time. So I see Knox being approached by a the security guard. Now mind you, the security guard may be five five. Um, That's already already a, already a bad sign right there. One eighty five, but he all muscle. <laughs> One muscle. Uh, <laughs> One muscle in the security Yo, five, shirt. Five, five, <laughs> One muscle in the security <laughs> shirt. All muscle. So, so the security guard approaches my friend Knox, my great friend Knox. Yeah, honey badger. My great friend Knox says, "Hey, sir, you cannot be on this dance floor. It's lighted with the drink." You know what I'm saying? So Knox says, "Okay," and leaves the dance floor. He starts to leave the dance floor. He starts to leave the dance floor. As he's leaving the dance floor, what's the one thing that Knox does? <laughs> Takes a drink of his drink. <laughs> In front of, of, the of one guard. muscle security. Yeah, one muscle security. <laughs> In front of one muscle security. And he cut his motherfucking eye at the nigga like, yeah, nigga, I'm about to get this last <laughs> drink before I, before I get off your dance floor. So as that is going, as we're ending our first selection, possibly going into our se- second selection, 
we noticed my man, my man Knox was standing firm before that. But we noticed Knox moving like this. <laughs> as the 55185 nigga is juicing him with the taser mm-hmm. as we're performing on stage. With, with, with three back up. He had three backup. And three backup security guards. Yo, but Knox him. ain't go down, did he? Knox did not go down. Nope. Knox did not go down. Was he still talking shit too? He was talking shit. Boy, he was getting electric. But what happened was we ended our set. No, we stopped. Twice. We stopped performing. Yeah, I remember. Two we stopped years. performing and, and and left the stage. So once again, guys, hip hoppers out there, every venue <laughs> ain't the venue for you. And if the security tells you no drinks on the dance floor, please. No drinks on the dance floor. Knox threw up in my car all the way on 421. Fuck you, Knox. Fairville, uh, back to the borough. All right? He threw up all the way. <laughs> Yo, that was great. That's I remember real, that. That's the real force here. I was drive. there. So look, look, look. Let's talk about Let's go back to the... Um, Listen party. Where was the listening party at? The listening party was downtown. It was at the uh, CTG Community Theater of, Green, Theater of Greensboro. Rooftop shit. Rooftop terrace. Very intimate. Very intimate. Very dope. Hey man, y'all guys enjoy that shit very tonight, dope. man. Oh, y'all enjoy that shit. <laughs> this was the dope shit. This was the dope shit. I it was it was a moment where I looked around and I'm sitting here like I, t- I told these niggas when we was outside I was like yo, it was it was it was. It was Invite only, so it wasn't like it was a whole bunch of people there. Mm-hmm. It was it was just the right right number, but the the people who was there, like the individuals that showed their faces, was very what I consider like prominent people to you know my hip hop universe to the scene that I you know what I'm saying respect. I think it's people who minds and work sometimes interweave, mm-hmm. um, and I, I think. I think it was like almost like you was a lightning rod tonight, brother. Like I seen a lot of energy in the room of people kind of seeing like, yo, True. like wanting to really get behind the movement. You know what I'm saying? Wanting to kind of see what shit can be done to try to um, push niggas to that next level. So um, I, I think that you know the culmination of the the Bonsai um, album dropping and just where cats is at, where we are as a nation. You know what I'm saying? Um, where cats are in their um, own careers. You know, I've been telling niggas since I heard this shit in the garage, this the album of the year, son. Like, you got a motherfucking smoke on your hand right now. Like, this is the album of the year. And big shots to all y'all that came out. I'm going to think about y'all at least till Tuesday. Um, <laughs> till Tuesday? Yeah. Um, it, meant, it meant a lot to me, though. It meant, I ain't going to front, yo. It meant a lot to me for the people that came out that took some time out. You know, you know, with the old shit, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. Here with so, me, dog. It was um, it was super dope. I think you know what I'm saying. When I looked out in the crowd, I saw like a timeline. You know what I'm saying, like mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. from you know ill position mm-hmm. to, to to Team Brolic to to um, to you know what I'm saying Watts. Um, even my wife and my you know what I'm saying. I had in laws in the house mm-hmm. tonight, and um, I walked up twenty four. Flights of stairs come here. Yo, my man from the rock, <laughs> my man from the rock, twenty four flights of stairs tonight, which is uh, which is dope within itself. And big shouts to the rock, big shouts to Rochester and this motherfucker that was out there tonight. Um, big shouts to VA. Mm-hmm. Uh, big shouts out to Eastern North Carolina. Um, big shouts out to the borough. Uh, big shouts to everybody that came out. It was just man, it felt good. It was almost surreal. I mean, I I probably was like. Once people, once y'all started getting there, I probably was on my fourth buckshot mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. So you know so what I'm saying. It. Already, you know what I'm saying. When I got there, I was like, "Oh shit, yeah, is, is anybody coming?" You know what I'm saying. But it can, it turned out dope. Yeah, I'm just happy that that people can actually hear this shit now because you know what I'm saying. You know what you done had. You know you, what you've been sitting on. Pause. I know. You know what I'm saying. Hey man, God it's all relevant. Oh, hey, I pa- nigga, I'm pausing the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pausing it. That's why. That's why I'm saying pause. Hard pause. <laughs> Thank Yo, you. Yo, B, you been showing your face tonight? Nah. Stop being show scared, son. Show your face. Nah, nah, I'm not on this one. I'm good on that. Oh, this little scary ass nigga, son. You done fucked up twice. You done fucked up twice. You can at least do that. There you go. There you go. Respect the shooter. Don't be. Don't be a bitch ass bitch. Respect the shooter. Don't be a bitch ass bitch. I appreciate you. Don't be a bitch ass bitch. 
Yeah, you fucking up already tonight, son. You can at least take responsibility. It is two o'clock. We motherfucking recapping. So let me let, let let me do this. Let me do this. Cause you know, we talk again. And I, I've told you this directly. I'm I'm gonna tell this room for the people here. You know, being that we are a group, Ilpo, a lot of times, it's almost like, you know, um, it's a race. So you know your man got your back. Then sometimes, hey, I might I might hit you with 80% because I know my man gonna cover me for the other 20. You know what I'm saying? It's been times where I'm like, you know, we ain't we ain't sharp as we need to be. So, you know, one of the things that I shared with you was that I personally think that this is like the best shit you have ever been spitting right now. And 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 I feel like with the thought process of it ain't it ain't it's just like the song say, it's just me. You know what I'm saying? So I can't leave no bar. It, it can't be no runoff bars. Everything got to be tight. Do you feel like that's the pocket that you was in when you did this shit? Even even not necessarily consciously, because I, I feel like it's just natural. You know what I'm saying? It's like you might lose one sense and the other sense gets stronger. You know what I'm saying? I feel like just naturally you knew, like literally and figuratively, like stepping your shit up. I think in my space, where I'm at, like, it's a, it's a couple different factors that kind of got me to, like, where I'm at right now. Yo, I'm the uh, fucking interview killer, too, by the way. I'm yeah, fucking yeah, murdering this shit, job, my nigga. Yeah, you need job. to hire me, my nigga. You need to hire you're me, my nigga. So, from a, um, I think from a, from a where I am space standpoint, like, okay, it's a couple, it's a couple different factors that make me spit the shit that I do. Preach. First of all, I got a good, I got a good home base. <laughs> Number one, I got a real supportive, I had a very supportive Cody mm -hmm. in this shit. That's so key. When it comes to my, my Wiz and my wife, and big shots to you, Tanya, for allowing me to still continue doing the music the way I do my music. Mm, that's very key. Um, uh, number two is, um, I think at the age that I am, I really don't give a fuck what people hey, do. Y'all got to shut the fuck up a little bit. No disrespect. Yeah. I no disrespect. I, don't I nobody think, kick my ass. I think at the space that I'm in right now, I really don't give a fuck what people think. Um, but I think I've been seasoned long enough doing the Ilpo shit and doing all this shit to make the shit sound right. So um, I think one of the things I wanted to do was just make sure reveal more of me. Yep. Just specifically when you talk, when you think about records like Warfield, and you think about records like Monologue, or you think about records like They Murdered Him, um, that's that's all me. Like that's me. Mm -hmm. Like this is shit that constantly goes through my head at yeah. all times. Yeah. Uh, from family uh, to community to society, mm -hmm. those are all things that either uh, motivates me or fucking demotivates me mm -hmm. in regards to the things that's going on. So um, I really don't give a fuck, yo. I like. If niggas listen to my album and they was like, yo, that nigga ain't, yeah, that's all right. Well, okay, motherfucker. I hope that happened after you spent $10. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, because this is me, and I've invested a lot of time, energy, and money into it. It's like a, it's a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and, you, me and you have had a relationship. Pause. Thank you. All right. Me and you have had a relationship because of the shared vision and the shared common goals that we have in regards to a musical standpoint. I feel like from a musical standpoint in regards to when it comes to beats and lyrics, I have the same relationship with. I don't have the energy, the money, or the time to do that bitch wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I just don't have it. So I gotta treat her right. So if I'm gonna do something, I wanna make sure that that bitch come out right and they got fresh kicks on, you know what I'm saying? My man. So that's my whole shit. My man. The motherfucking bonsai, man. man. Yo, um, I ain't mean to tell y'all niggas to shut the fuck up, first of all. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. Yeah, Don't get scared, um, man. Because I, I got, yo, I got to lock up. I got to lock up. So, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to have niggas shake. You know what I'm saying? Big shots yo. Big shots to Arifa. Word up. Yo, real talk. Rest in peace, my nigga Cosmic Legacy, too. I meant to um yeah. say that on the last episode, man. Rest in peace, my nigga Cosmic Legacy. Um, I don't, I don't want us to take for granted the moments that we have right now because I went live when we was mixing down the Bonza album, right? I went live. That and Wednesday night. That Wednesday night. And one of the people that I had constant dialogue with 
while I went live was Cosmic Legacy. Mm -hmm. Cosmic Legacy was talking about how he can't wait to purchase the album, he can't wait to purchase multiple pieces of the album, and he couldn't wait to bring us up to the DMV. And I wake up the next morning, uh, two Friday. mornings. Friday, mm -hmm. that Friday was two days I later. I wake up two mornings after and I see Rest in Peace Cosmic Legacy. Yeah. Um, Don't take for granted, like, the now. Yeah. Because tomorrow, uh, yo, I don't mean to sound like an old a old lady with a, a church hat on, but tomorrow really is never promised to anybody. Um, so enjoy not only the abilities that you have, mm -hmm. but enjoy the people that you sincerely care about and the people that sincerely care about Real you. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like call motherfuckers and tell them you love them or thank you or True. whatever um, because you never know. You know what I'm saying? Don't give me the, uh, you know, I hear a lot of people talking about, yo, don't, I'm going to give you the rose right now. I don't want to give you the rose when mm -hmm. you're gone. That's right. So, yo, big shots to the only Cosby Legacy. I remember him since the, the Blonde Tiger Tuesday days. Mm -hmm. He's definitely been definitely uh, an a, a avid ill post supporter right. throughout the years. Yeah. And um, I don't know what happened to the homie. I found it out. me up. But I don't want to talk about it, you know, with respect to the family, because I talked to, talk to T-Zone for a good little bit. Uh -huh. Um for like an hour that 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 Friday night, but um, it's crazy again. We talking to him Wednesday on the live Friday. The brother that passed away. I got I got mad messages in my phone. You know what I'm saying? Direct messages where the nigga just hit me out the blue like, "Yo, Booms, what up? Peace, and positive, blessings. peace and blessings. Hope peace you and your blessings. family doing good. That, that's all. He just keep coming to let me get some positive energy away, and that was just it. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that he took time out to um. You know, just give positive energy toward niggas. And that's the one thing that, you know, even in you kind of prepping this album, you know, I heard you kind of saying, like, just we got to give positive energy toward each other. You know what I'm saying? And I want to be positive. I remember it was a couple times you hit me like, yo, nigga, don't forget who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I just need to remind you. I don't know if anybody told you today, but you one of the illest niggas in the world. Don't forget that shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit that resonate with me. That shit that means shit to me. You, you know, know what I mean? And, and you know what happened tonight? Like, I saw cats tonight that I haven't seen for a very long time. And um, it's amazing how the universe works sometimes and how music works and how it can bring these motherfuckers that you love so dearly that you ain't seen. And it can bring it back. Tenfold, yeah. to what, you know what I'm saying, what it was, and um, and I think we need to, like I said, we don't need to take for granted what we have in front of us. You know what I'm saying? If I got the ability to go have lunch with my man right here, I'm gonna go have lunch with my man. Create that moment. Yeah, I don't give a damn if we go get the dollar menu. You know what I'm saying? We had lunch and we sit down and we had convo. And things of that nature. I think that's super important. I think that's some of the things that we're lacking mm -hmm. and take for granted because the social media shit, the emoji shit, all that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That was yeah. one of the reasons why I ain't have one had no kids. I ain't want them to grow up in this fucked up ass world. Then bow, bow. Here they go. Yep, they out this motherfucker. Yeah. Look, man, the motherfucking bonds eyes out. You know what I'm saying? The um, album release party was crazy now. Soft drop, soft drop, soft drop. Virginia, you, Virginia's coming up, right? Virginia's coming up. I'm looking forward to we that. Had a consolidated uh, class reunion with my high school in uh, Virginia. We're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing, kind of like we did tonight, uh, but more probably on an introspective level because I'm probably gonna perform. It's gonna be a party. Um, but it's gonna be motherfuckers that's gonna be anticipating me to perform. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we're gonna do it like that. Um, I'm excited. Not only am I excited about my album, I'm excited about my niggas' albums. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited about everything that's coming from individuals in this room and outside of this room, from uh, Tilted Crown, from everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, um, and while while I'm here, I want to give shouts to Zulu Nation. They're in the building tonight. Word up! And for what they've been doing support, in the community, my niggas. Um, I appreciate the support. support for the. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> For supporting the culture. Y'all nigga, y'all nigga slow clapping? Y'all slow clapping. Fucking high school musical in this bitch. But nah, but for real, bro. Niggas like, yo. For what they've been, for what they've been doing from a culture perspective, man, not only in the, um, not only in the hip hop community, but also in the actual regular community. Um, so I, you know, what I'm saying I, I, I definitely uh, salute those types of things. 
those are things that me and my my and my friends we we attempted to do a long time ago. Men of Honor, that's what Men of Honor was formed for. Mm -hmm. uh, doing doing individual things like that. So, uh, big shouts to that man. That was that that shit is dope to me. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? Like, it is. my nigga, I don't. The young the young cats can have their shit, and I love the young cat shit. A little, you know what I mean? It's a certain. It's, it's, yeah, me yeah. and this motherfucker had a debate about that shit the other night. I am just an icon living. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you, I thought you were talking about Jael, because, you know, Jael like Crunchy Black. Yeah, I fuck with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, Jael like Crunchy Black. Yeah. Um, so, but that's, you know, it's the, you different, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. their shit. Yeah. That's their hip hop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Our hip hop wasn't our older, the older generation's hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all talking about killing everybody like that? You know, we our hip hop talked about killing everybody. If I wasn't killing you, I was selling dope to you. Yeah. Remember that? Mm -hmm. But now, <laughs> but now, like, yo, I'm going to kill you and I'm going to smoke all your dope. <laughs> the dope thing about shit right now is if if you like fucking dope, if you like dope ass artists, dope hip hop music, it's plenty. It's it's a lot of motherfuckers out here that you can rock with. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of good music that's being consistently um, put out. I think M put out some shit today too. I'm kind of leery about Big that. Y'all heard the Eminem album? Anybody heard that? Thoughts. 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 That's the last joint. Yeah. See, but this why this why I'm glad I'm in a room. I'm room room full of motherfuckers that I'm in here with because I had heard that shit that I was not anxious to hear. If everybody was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've really, to be honest with you, I've never, I haven't been anxious to hear an Eminem album since his first album. Personally. I mean, I'm just, we talking about current events. I'm talking about current events. What you got, what you got to say, Poncho? Come up here, Poncho. I got to say this. My man raised his hand. Yo, my man raised his hand. Yo. My man raised his hand. You was one of our guests on one of the um first audio traffickers, too, wasn't you, brother? Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I have to say this. Um, We really appreciate you, brother, for what you've done for the culture with this album. This album is a magnificent piece of work from beginning to end. Mm. And that's what artists need to do. Um, if you're going to do a, a, a project like this, you have to put your heart and soul into it. I mean, from the beginning to end. You know what I'm saying? So I have to say thank you for this beautiful contribution that you've given to hip hop, to North Carolina culture, for Virginia, for the Bronx, I mean, whatever. You representing the ill Pope. Yeah, for sure. I just want to say thank you. That's all I got to say. Y'all hey, give it up for the fucking uh, heartfelt, the heartfelt comments Word. from the fucking <laughs> savage. <laughs> 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 the savage. I'm a savage man. Yeah, a savage individual. Yeah, man. The motherfucking album is out right now. Finally. Right now. Finally. Soft drop. What I, soft drop. What look, I need, I need for everybody to get that thing, man. Yeah, so look. I got uh, a lot of money riding on this. I got you, side from, bets. From a time stamp standpoint, it is available only from a hard copy standpoint. Which means right you now. just got to or reach out and order reach that out, bitch. order it from me, or I can see you, and I'll hand, hand it to you. It will be available on Tidal, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, Google Play, mm -hmm. uh, uh, did I leave anything out? It's going to be on our band campaign. YouTube, gonna be, everywhere. Yeah, it's going to be everywhere. Of, but right now, what I wanted to do was, I wanted everyone to feel a part of me. And I wanted to make it exclusive to, right. to everyone. Make it an experience. Yeah, I want to make it an experience for everyone. So, Yeah, it definitely came out dope, my brother. Salute. Salute to you. One of my favorite joints on the album. You know what, what I'm saying? What is that? Salute. Salute. With, Salute. With yeah. um, that and Potpourri. Potpourri. And, um... Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, black, uh, probably the intro. The, 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 Faithful Pope yeah. Marie. Yeah. And, and that the shit my shit probably rotate every every two, three days. I'm pretty sure I have a new favorite every, every Pause. Two, three, 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 yeah, I got it. I got it though. Pause. I got it. Yo, got what it. else you gotta say to traffic before we get the fuck up out of here, man? It's getting late. Oh. post game shit. I don't know, man. Like, I'm just I'm full I'm I'm full right now, you know what I mean? So I just want to say thank you for everybody that came out and fuck with me tonight and, and and fuck with you. Thank you for working the room tonight. Y'all make some of those Monday booms work yeah, the room. You know. you work that, you work Hold on, room. man. You made me sound like I'm a little... Hey, yo, hey. are you making too much noise? You made... Hey, little prostitute. Yeah, you make me sound like a little whore, man. <laughs> no, my I don't man. like that, man. No, 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 no. I don't like that. No, yeah. no. It's like, yo, you work in the room? Go over there and talk to my man. 
Yeah, I don't appreciate that shit, man. Not like that. I was man. just shouting niggas out, yo. I just saw yo, it was so many, like I said, it was so many ill individuals that have been a part of our story. I'd be like, yo, I'm going over here to go fuck with this person. I'm going over here to go fuck with that person. I'm going over here to go fuck with that person. I'm in the room with fucking Jael, Apostle, fucking Gav Beach, Drugs, B Squared, fucking Poncho, you know what I'm saying? MJ, like it's just some of the Brower, like Sublime, Blessed, Jinx, Stack, like it's some it's just it's so many layers. Of all, with the shit that we've done in that room, I just could not. I, I I was just going to go fuck with everybody, so I don't know that I was trying to specifically do that, but um, I was just happy that motherfuckers was there. Yo, it really created a a, a a good vibe. Ultimately, I think I want people to make their own decisions of what they feel is hot. Don't let every anyone else dictate what's hot or what's fly or whatever. Walk your own path. Um, you know, I learned that a lot. You know what I'm saying? I learned that a lot more when I became a father. And you know what I'm saying? With my son. In regards to, you know what I'm saying? Being a follower rather than a leader. And, um. Shout yeah. out to your son making the album. Yeah, my son on the yeah, album. Yeah, big shout out to my son on one of the hardest joints on the album. Yeah, yeah, um, With Watts, with, with Boons and OC from NC. Uh, joint called Anticipation. And, and my son. And I asked him, I said, yo. I said, what you want me to, you know, how do you want me to label you? On the album, how you want me to, what your, what your name want to be? He's like, uh, let's call me JB Jr. Yes, and, um, yay, That made me yay. happy as a motherfucker. Like, when he said that, I thought he might have been like, yo, call me Iron Boy, because he's an Iron Man fan. <laughs> Iron Boy. Yeah, call me Iron Boy, Iron Dad, or some shit like that. But he was like, yo, Boy. call me JB Jr. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, it's just, it's a it's a beautiful thing, man. See, Full boy, circle shit, son. Banza, Banza. When I thought about Banzai, like, let me give you background. So Banzai came about um, my birthday last year. My wife bought me a Canon and a dope-ass camera. And she asked me a question. She said, babe, since you got a camera now, what's going to be your picture photography shit? I thought about it. I was like, oh, I'm going to call this shit Banzai. And um, I told the watch brethren about it, B Squared, and O. And B Squared hit me back was like, yo, I was thinking about that Banzai shit. You like, I came up with some shit. And he came up with the Banzai logo mm -hmm. shit. And um, as that was happening, I realized, you know what I'm saying, the tree represents growth. Um, it represents something you plant in the ground and it and grows up. Yeah. And it and it forms into something beautiful. Um, Banzai is also my vision of how I see things. I'm Bond. It's my eye. It's what I see. So... It all came together beautifully from an Im imagery standpoint, and it also came together beautifully from a message standpoint. Mm -hmm. I want, I just want to continue to be able to spread that message to different eyes and different ears. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So the more more people I'm able to touch, the more I message, and you know, not only J Bond but the Ilpo message will spread afar. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Ilpo forever. It's never not Ilpo, and I'm talking about from motherfucking one through five, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna always be Ilpo, ill position. That's where we started. Glad to see that you carrying the torch, you know what I'm saying? We gonna continue to hit people in the head. I'm not carrying the torch like Muhammad Ali did in the Olympics. Sure. No. But I am carrying the torch. Yes. <laughs> it's a much different, it's a, mu it's a much different, much more stable. Yo, Shout out to the champ, man. Yo, don't Shout, front, out don't front, don't <laughs> Shout out to the champ. Don't front. Shout out to the champ. Don't front. Don't front. Don't front. Bonsai. Yo. It's, yo. Yo, we want to thank y'all again for watching. It's 2.43 in the morning. We post-gaming from yo, the Bonsai album watching. release party right now, man. Sure you don't yo. Get, uh, only don't thing. Forget. Wait, 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 wait. I would like for everybody who watches this episode to comment your favorite joint off the Bonsai album. I like that. Post it on the on FB page, the YouTube page. Get interactive. Yeah, interact. Potpourri. Mm. Yeah. I'm just going to start it off. Potpourri. Potpourri. That's one of my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, The first one. The intro. Yeah, the faithful. Intro. Yes, faithful. faithful. When, then, when my nigga say... Oh, y'all thought I was gonna rap on this shit? Y'all thought I was gonna rap on this shit? Nah, one, uh, I wanted, you talk about the potpourri. I know on the potpourri record, I said, um, at the beginning of it, I said, um, big shots to my neighborhood. And so, 
I said, for not fucking with me. And it wasn't that my neighborhood doesn't fuck with me. I'm thankful that they don't, they don't fuck with me. Like, I'm, I look different than mm-hmm. people in my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. So I'm thankful that they don't fuck with me in a way that makes me feel uncomfortable to live in that neighborhood. Real talk. So I just want to give that disclaimer because don't don't get it twisted, man. Everybody that looks like you ain't for you. Oh. And everybody that don't look like you ain't against you. Preach. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to throw that out there. Jewels. This um, Let's continue to growth. Let's continue to spread the love. And let's continue to spread this hip hop shit like we like it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Audio so, trafficker. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. My name is Jay Bond. I am an audio trafficker. This is Monday Boons, and I am an audio trafficker. I'm just a guest here tonight, and I love it. And I am an audio trafficker too, people. Cop that Bond's eye. Cop that Bond's eye. Get that Bond's eye. Be free. I'm coming soon, soon. You or what? Hey. This nigga got up here and forgot the fucking plug. You forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and I am an audio trafficker. Peace. And I'm dropping the album. And, and it's going to be the shit. <laughs> and, um. <laughs> Big ups to Marvel for keeping Panther and Falcon. They thought we learned our lesson from environmental pressures. A proud heritage of skin color didn't make us lesser. Nah, nah. Salute to technology for showing the world a horror. Uh-huh. Of what some live every day and who really was the martyr. Bodies in collages, they taken by the protectors. They snatch a sister's nectar, the black brother bone collectors. Nah, nah. The Charleston shooting had me crying like a baby. Yep. That could have been my pastor, mother Jay, and then my lady. Take my pistol when I worship my nigga, yo, I ain't crazy. No doubt, it's no good doubt. versus evil, I won't be first to see the days. Nah, my knees are scarred from injustices. You can pick the lesser evil, it's either the Dems or Republicans. They want to justify what is a lesser sin. While we scratch our way out of this Trump American mess we in. Uh, when he was given the Nobel Prize, again, they seek to discredit Dr. Ah. King with the persons who welcomed him back from that award. Uh, when he began to speak out against the Vietnam War, there's a new crescendo of efforts by the Bureau to discredit and destroy Dr. King. Uh, my L's is good, my permit is fine. Why am I shook when I see the cops pulling behind? The survival program and got me teaching my son. Before police approach the whip, I see him reach for his gun. Now flashing lights behind a nigga pull over. It'd probably be even worse if I was driving a black rover. The system designed to disintegrate the strength, they still locking us away with a 13 for-